Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down Bar Fire by Hayeris Coyote. And it sounds like this. Alright, what I just played was the intro. I'm not quite sure in what key we're in, but my guess will be that we're in the key of E major. Alright, since the melody line we're using. We symbol a lot like the key of E. So the logic behind this intro is this. I'm going to play one note on my right hand, and the note that I'm going to play will be the major seventh of the chord on my left hand. All right, so for example, if I play D sharp, I know that D sharp is the major seventh of E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, the major seventh. So I'm going to play E major on my left hand. All right, so that will be my first chord too. So the first chord for this intro is E major seven. So I'm playing B, E, and G sharp on my left hand, and my right hand plays D sharp, all right, the major seventh. Then I will go down a whole step and play D major seven. A, D, F sharp, and then C sharp on top for my right hand. After that, I'm going to go up a fourth and play G major seven. That's G, D, and then G again on my left hand. And my right hand plays B, the major third, and F sharp, the major seventh. Then I will go a whole step up again and play A major seven. A, E, A, C sharp, and G sharp. Right, so the melody line so far goes like this. After that, I'm going to go back, play E major seven, and D major seven again. And then from here, I'm going to replay A major seven and G major seven, but now I'm going to use a different voicing. So first, A major seven. On my left hand, I'm only playing the root and the fifth, right? So A and E. And on my right hand, I have the major seventh, right? So G sharp. Then I will go down a whole step and play G major seven using the same voicing. So root and fifth, G and D, and the major seventh on top, F sharp. After that, I'm going to play B and C sharp. All right, so still using the same logic we used from the beginning. So B is the major seventh of C. So I'm going to play C major seven. All right, so here I'm playing C on its second inversion. That's G, C, and E. And my right hand plays So first C major seven, then I will go up a whole step and play D major seven. And then before going back to E major seven, I'm going to quickly go play G major seven and A major seven. And that will be basically the first pattern of this intro. Okay, from the top, you have E major seven, you can also play a grace note from C sharp to D sharp using your second and third finger, like this, on E major 7, then D major 7, G major 7, to A major 7, 
Then go back to E major 7, D major 7, A major 7, G major 7, and then going up playing C major 7 to D major 7. And before going back to E major 7, I'm going to replay G major 7 and A major 7. Okay, now we're on the second pattern for this intro. And I'm going to replay the same thing as the first pattern. The only difference is that after I played C major 7 and D major 7, instead of going back and play G major 7 and A major 7 as I did for the first pattern, I'm going to go straight back to E major 7. Alright, like this. Right now I'm going to play the first and second pattern back to back so you can see. After that, I'm going to repeat the first pattern and also the second pattern. But on the second pattern, I'm going to add some rhythmic syncopation starting on A major 7. It will sound like this. Alright, so starting on A major 7. You're going to play your chord and then break, like this, and also play your chord and break on G major 7, and after that you're going to play C major 7, right, so starting from C major 7, you're going to use your sustain pedal on all your chords, right, like this. simply end the intro on A major 7. Okay, so let's play the whole intro in a slow pace. That will be it for the first part. If you want to learn the rest of the song, you can head over to musicwitness.com where I will teach you the chorus, the bridge, and also the ending. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Urban.